my home brewing homies. Big Rob here guys. It is a Saturday morning. I'm decked out in my uh, jogging pants gear because I'm a big jogger. Lots of jogging. That's called horse shit. Uh, anyhow, so I am doing a little bottling, kegging action today. Uh, what do I got here? I got a Cooper's Lager. I brewed this bad boy on uh, October 18th, so we're talking just over two weeks. They typically leave them in the ferment pour. Um, today I'm going to keg it, 19 liter corny keg. This one I believe is a Pepsi. Yeah, it's a Pepsi keg. This has 20, 1, 2, 3 liters, 19. That means I got to do 4 liters in the bottle. When you're kegging, I'm actually going to prime, use priming sugar instead of forced carbonating uh, this time around. Um, when you do, you want to use about a half of what you would if you were just doing bottles, okay? Um, so, what I'm going to do is this came with the kit that I was, one of my kits, I got a shit ton of these because I do a lot of force carbonating as well using the seal too, but this time I'm going to do sugar. Because this is a Cooper's kit, I'm going to let it sit for a while, um, at least three weeks in here before I consume it. It's better when it ages. Um, so, this comes with some of the kits. This is about 120 grams of sugar, which I believe is about four ounces. I'm just going to half it, so we're talking about two ounces, 60 grams, maybe a little more, maybe two thirds of it. Um, and what you do, guys, is you put a pot on the stove, get it to boiling, turn it off like I just did, put the sugar in to melt it, um, dissolve it, not melt it, and then you let it cool, and then we're going to dump that into the cake. I'm then going to put the beer wort into the keg, and that's it, guys. Uh, actually, that's not it. I'll then take some gas, and I will um, uh, pressurize it a little bit to get all the oxygen out, know, release the gas, do that three times, and I'll walk you through this in this video, and then uh, pressurize it again to seal, and then I take it off the gas, and I just let the sugar do its magic. So right now, I've got a pot on. I'm going to put this bad boy in it, probably about two-thirds, like I said, um, and then I'm going to dissolve it. I'll be right back. Hang tight. Potta, potta, sugar. So there you go, guys. That's how much I put in. That might even be close to three-quarters. Uh, I might just play with it a bit. You definitely don't want the same amount. It's something to do with the volume, the head space, and the keg compared to all the bottles. That's why you don't use the same amount. So that's still hot. Um, I, I, this keg had been sitting with uh, star sand in it. Uh, I cleaned and sanitized about a week ago and I just let it sit so there's no way to get contaminated. And then all you do is just dump that in there without spilling your sugar all over the place. Sugar is in the corny keg. Done. Hard stuff to do. Then, I don't know if you guys can see that there or not. Let me take a little peek, see in the camera. Now you can't see shit. Um, that's all right. Pretty straightforward, guys. All I'm going to do now is I got, I'm not using my handy dandy Cooper's fermenter as you'll see, and this is where not using the Cooper's kit sucks. Ass, two reasons, you might be able to see all the uh, crowds and ring up here, that's what's even on the cover, this stuff really bubbled up. Um, with the Cooper's kit, you can take the crowds and collar out and a less chance of contaminating, and then just spig it on the side of the some bitch, which these don't have. So I've got to bring out my uh, racking cane that I'm sitting have it sitting in a thing of ferment, not fermenter, uh, sand frickin' tizer. And this stuff is the no rinse deal. However, I still like to rinse it a little bit. At least get all the suds off it. Because um, it is it is an, it's 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 apparently a food grade acid. But there's still the word acid in there, so I have a little bit of an issue sitting there consuming acid. Uh, so I don't spend a lot of time, but I do typically do what I'm doing right now. You know, if it's in the bottles or the kegs, I'll give it a good rinse. Rinse this bad boy out with just fresh water. That pot was just boiled, so it's sanitized. Get all the, the junk off it. And then I got myself just recently, I picked up a, to make this, I'm doing so much beer for you, some guns. Um, that I have to use these buckets because I don't have any other uh, Cooper's deal. So I picked up this bad boy, which is just helps with the racking um, because you can now, I don't want to get down into the sediment. So this thing, it'll keep it out of the sediment. Holy geez, look at the crowds. I haven't done one of these in a normal fermenter in a long time. 
I like my Cooper's kit. Ooh, that smells good though. So now the idea is I can get that down far enough without touching the sediment on the bottom. Keeping that crap out of my beer. That's it guys. Son of a gun. Son of a bitch. Now I gotta... <laughs> it's Saturday morning. I had too many home brews last night. I missed my Cooper kit, man. Cooper's way better. Fermenter. So now I gotta clean this son of a bitch all over again. And then I'm just gonna pump it, fill up that corny keg. And I'll be back. I'll be back. Hang tight. <laughs> All right, guys, this sucked. Um, get yourself a Cooper's fermenter. Uh, I picked up this. Uh, I had one before, and maybe that clamp just sucks ass, and you can get a better clamp. I think a few years ago when I was not using the Cooper's, and I was using just a normal fermenter uh, bucket, I had a better clip because this one sucks, and it's just a pain in the ass. However, there you go. There you can see. You can get the general premise. It's not that big of a deal. You want to keep the. You can see the uh, the bottom of the funnel. You want to keep it up above the sediment. I've got it going into the uh, bad boy Cornelius keg. Uh, I got the sugar in there. You don't got to stir up the sugar. The uh, action from the beer going into the keg uh, will stir it up enough and mix it up enough because you don't want to get much oxygen, if any, in there. Um, and I'll be right back, um, or I'm going to seal up this keg. I'll show you how that works. And then uh, that's it. I'm going to put it away for three weeks and then start consuming it. So I'll be back for a taste test then, too. Hang on. I'll be back soon. All right. All right, all right, all right. We are fully filled. Um, I left just about four and a half liters in there. It leaves a little bit of head room in here. I've got the gas line for the CO2 connected. I've got it on 30 PSI. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank her open. You can hear her going in there. Just filling her up with some CO2. The reason I'm doing that is I wanna get all the oxygen out of the tank, okay? A few seconds, I turn it off, I expel. Woo! Out she comes, I do her again. Hear all the bubbling going on in there, that's nice. Yeah, no more bubbling, I just wait a few seconds. I don't know guys, there's no real scientific method to this. Release it, this is just getting all the oxygen out because you don't want oxygen in your beer. And it's also sealed on the top. So the, the, the top of the uh, keg, I actually had it sitting in my sanitizer to sanitize it. You also want to get the O-ring around it wet, helps with the seal. There we go, this will be the last release I do. And now I'm going to crank it again to make sure it's nice and sealed. And this one I'm going to leave. Okay? And that's it, guys. I'm going to let that sit for a couple seconds like that just to make sure it's nice and sealed. I'm going to put this away in room temperature. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to put it away for about three weeks. And then uh, we'll be doing a taste test. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Like, uh, like the video if you liked it. Give me a comment. If you got any questions, comments, just say, hey, what's up, Big Rob? That's cool, too. Um, head over to my blog, makebeardeasy.com. You can sign up for my uh, updates. I'll send out the videos when I do them. I brew all kinds of different shit all the time. And uh, we just get crazy. Have a good day, guys. Big Rob's out of here. I'll actually be brewing some beer tomorrow. I got a little concoction, my own recipe I'm doing tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Later, dudes.